This time, we will explore the extraordinary philosophy of Miyamoto Musashi, a legendary samurai who not only mastered martial arts, but also had a profound outlook on life. I will weave this story with his Dokoto concept and slip in psychological insights to provide a deeper understanding. Miyamoto Musashi, a ronin or wandering samurai, lived to become the best swordsman. In his journey, he encounters many people and places. However, Musashi realized that getting too attached to relationships or things could distract him from his goal. It's like when we get too attached to something and put our happiness in external things. Understand Dokodo. Don't be sad about separation. Musashi emphasizes not to be too sad when parting ways. This is not just about physical separation, but also about detaching from excessive emotional attachment. This philosophy reflects the view of Buddhism, where being overly attached can lead to suffering and weakness. The sadness of separation can limit us and make us fear loss, something that needs to be avoided. Digging deeper, modern psychology also supports this idea. Attachment theory, a psychological theory that studies human emotional relationships, states that getting too attached to people or things can hinder personal development. Healthy attachment is important, but too much can have a negative impact on mental well-being. Combining philosophy with psychology. In everyday life, we can see examples of Musashi's teachings. For example, in today's social media era, many people live above their means just to create a good impression on the internet. They are too attached to the image and views of others, sacrificing their own happiness and well-being. This is in line with Musashi's concept of not letting attachments prevent us from following our true path in life. The importance of severing toxic relationships can also be explained with this concept. Although parting ways is difficult at first, especially from harmful relationships, it can be a liberating step towards pursuing happiness and true life purpose. Removing negativity from life, as Musashi did, can improve mental well-being and pave the way for personal growth. Miyamoto Musashi in Everyday Life Let us understand this concept through a true story. I know someone who, like Musashi, decided to remove negative influences from his life. He realized that some of his close friends were having a bad impact on his energy and thoughts. Although parting was difficult afterward, he felt a significant change in his mood and his ability to focus on his goals. The concept of ownership can also be applied in psychology. Thinking too much about ownership of people or things can create emotional instability. When we realize that all we have is the freedom to choose and act, we can escape the unhealthy pressure of ownership. Tips for living free from attachment. How can we apply this teaching in our daily lives? First, identify what is really important in your life. Sometimes we get caught up in things that don't actually support personal growth or happiness. Second, have the courage to separate from things that are detrimental be it toxic relationships or excessive attachment to material things. Combining Musashi's concepts with modern psychology gives us a holistic view of life and mental well-being. Don't let temporary or external things be the center of our happiness. Instead, focus on our freedom to choose and act, as taught by Musashi. Conclusion Building Mental Well-Being and Personal Growth in our journey through life, let's learn from Miyamoto Musashi not to get too attached to temporary things. Healthy attachments are important, but excessive attachments can become a burden. By detaching ourselves from unhealthy attachments, we can open ourselves up to personal growth and better mental well-being. So, let's apply the never be sad about separation rule in our lives and be free from unnecessary burdens. We are the owners of our own choices and actions. What do you think? Do you agree or have other views? Tell us your thoughts in the comments and we'll see you in the next story.